What's up everybody, this is Jake with Busted Knuckle Off-Road and I want to talk to you a little bit about the buggy that we have sitting behind me. So, the story goes, the guy who's buying this buggy, his name is Todd, he has a Jeep that he has built up over the last couple of years. It had a four cylinder in it, you know, and just like everybody, you know, they, they get into the off-road scene and they start kind of working their way up. They're building, they put a bigger motor, bigger tires, and you know, kind of just basically work on the base project from there until it morphs into something that they think is gonna be really awesome. Well, Todd realized not too long ago that, you know, he's put all this energy and time and effort into his Jeep, which is an LS and coilovers and four links and sticky tires and everything and he's watching all these guys and these buggies climb stuff that he can't and then it's not super reliable he'd go out and he would break stuff every once in a while um, and so he wanted something that was kind of next level And so he got in touch with us and said, you know what guys, I've been watching some of your videos, been kind of following you guys for a little while, and I just thought it was amazing that you guys are over here on the East Coast, you're climbing all the nasty hills over here on the East Coast, you know, I'm hearing people talk about how awesome they ride and how comfortable they are, you're making stuff look easy that other people can't make it up, but then you guys have the confidence to load them on trailers and go all the way to the West Coast and then go rock crawling with these things. And he said, you know what? I realized that my Jeep that I've been working on just doesn't have that level of performance and I really want something that I can have that level of performance and that confidence to tackle any terrain. So Todd started out with a really awesome package. We've got the Ride Series chassis behind us that we built into something a little bit more custom for him. Uh, this particular buggy here actually has doors, which is one of the first ones that we've built. We've done doors before in the past, but not with the Ride Series, and I am ecstatic on the way these things came out. They look awesome, they perform awesome, and I'll tell you what, my next buggy will definitely have doors on it because it makes getting in and out so much easier. Couple other things, he's got a LS3, which is uh, 550 horsepower, all aluminum engine, go into a TH400, and then an Atlas Pro transfer case, we're running 1410 drive shafts, front and rear. Now, in the rear and in the front, we went with an upgraded axle package because he was having some problems with his Jeep breaking some axle shafts in the rear, and he was worried about that, so we decided to upgrade him to 300M Mark Williams shafts in the rear. The front is full 40 spline with 1550 U-joints. Uh, in all of our testing over all the years, even with 1,000 horsepower, we haven't been able to break these shafts. So we know that he'll be able to have the confidence to go anywhere, four-wheel this thing as hard as he wants to, and make sure that he can make it home without any breakage. Todd also opted to upgrade to the heated seats, which is an awesome option, especially on those really cold days. He opted for the communications package, which is one of my personal favorite things because whenever you've got those headphones on and you're on a group and you're all kind of riding around, you can talk to each other and you can make sure that the group stays together a lot better. If somebody has to go into the trailer or take a pee or something like that, you can keep everybody together and you don't have to stop the whole group from progressing. One of my favorite options. He also has a wider seat, which is really cool, you know, because he's got a lot of room and he has the rock light package. Something that also sticks out with this particular vehicle is the insane red powder coat that's on this thing. I am in love. Red has always been my color. And this thing looks like it's computer generated or something. Like when it's in the shop, it looks completely different. The customer's gonna be here any minute and I can't wait to pull this thing outside and show it to him. Ready for him to come see their buggy for the first time. <laughs> 